before we get started, this actually ties into some of the topic that um, I'm going to be discussing. I want to thank you all for this ISOM number two pre-order uh, window is about to close here on August the 27th. It's been an insane uh, pre-order campaign, over 19,000 total purchasers. We've got 12,000 covers sold for both A and B. Some of these items will not be available, particularly like some of the merchandise items after the campaign once they sell out, meaning they won't be reprinted. So be sure to get in if you haven't already. And that kind of ties in. Actually, it's not kind. It absolutely does tie into what it is that I want to discuss today. And that is a reason to be optimistic. I think with what what's happening and I have to I feel like this reminder is very, very important culturally. Um, it, it can it's easy for a lot of folks to get down. If you are, let's say, into really any form of modern entertainment, because everything seems to be mundane or it's just that flat out terrible. It's un uninspiring, I think, is a great, uh, a great term. And I get that. I empathize with that. You know, I went through my kind of stages with Marvel and DC as an example. And uh, reason, a big reason why I was influenced to make this video uh, as this reminder was because of what's going on with Blue Beetle. People are seeing that, you know, it's not doing that well. So they're like, hey, what investment do people, be it the studios or whatever, why would they continue to make investments if they're going to continue to take L? So is this going to be like kind of the death of of, of these, uh, uh, say, comic book movies? And to a degree, I can totally understand that. Um, but I don't look at it like it's a negative. Not anymore. When I was solely tied to it, and I guess I can see where people are at because, again, I was there when that was all that I had let's say was a customer of with Marvel and DC. So when they would come out with something, that was what I would, I would go buy. Uh, and it, it sucked to see it kind of going this downward trend and, 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 and just blow layups is really what it is that they were doing. But obviously I got into creative space a lot more. That's where I belong. And it's not just me. There's plenty of other people that are here that are doing creative things uh, in comic books and, and they're being, like they're, they're being ambitious. It's one thing to like just create something for the sake of creating. I think that's where the, the gap has to get closed. Um, there's people that have obviously created personalities out of uh, being a creator per se. And that's what the age of social media and YouTube has allowed us to do. And that is awesome. But I think the, the, the separation and where a lot of folks have to catch up with the quote unquote mainstream is that at some point, well, before, let's say in comics, Marvel and DC, it did feel like there was some level of inspiration there. There was something to look forward to. There was some ambition there. Uh, you saw media that uh, was being created in the comics, uh, outside of the comics, um, tied in with one another. And, and that felt like it's hard to pinpoint as far as a word. But again, the best word I can say is like inspiring. I think that's what's lost. So the gap that from the independence that has to get closed is that. Yeah, there are very, very successful entities um, that are detached from that. But trying to be enthusiastic and having your customers, they pick up on that stuff, be as enthusiastic about it as, as you are, is a different animal. And it takes a certain level of it. it that goes beyond marketing, right? That, that's about the stuff it is that you're creating. It's the, it's the ordeal that, that surrounds it as well. And that's where we have to catch up. Well, a lot of people have to catch up there. But it's reason to be optimistic because there's people that are attempting to do that, right? There's a void that is trying to be filled. Now, I'm not saying that. I want to be clear. I don't mean like releasing a bunch of stuff. Just that, That's what actually did Marvel and DCN was that oversaturation. That's not what it is that I'm talking about. I'm saying like, okay, you got something new. You got eyes. You got fans. Okay, with that, what do you do, right? You, you, you keep creating. You keep building. You show them that you're willing to invest in, in, in this product, um, and yeah, th there has to be some level of release schedule, um, there that yeah, I get that part of it. That's, that, that's certainly a part of it, but there's still the, the enthusiasm is picked up. And I think it starts with the creatives within that, that deal. Um, and the businessmen, of course, within it tied in with the creatives. So the tools that we have at our access or we have access to are incredible. And I still think people don't really get it right. I started a multi within a year, two multi-million dollar campaigns we've had. We've started a multi-million dollar comic book company, right? So everything's fast track. You hear me say that all the time. It's like you got the direct line of sight. You say that a million times with your audience. That to me is in, in itself is a reason to be optimistic. Now, for some, 
see that that speaks more to I guess the the people that are producing the the content. So now it's about convincing those that would otherwise, let's say, uh, in the past, like myself, would consume the Marvels, the DCs, and the, and the bigger companies, and that can comply to Star Trek, Star Wars, and all the nerd culture stuff. Now it's about convincing them, okay, to buy into this project, and that's where the creative and the business stuff has to ha- has to happen. So yeah, now we got all the we. I think I would say we have a. Um, no, let's say this. I will say that we have a surplus of creatives. There's a lot of people that want to be creatives. No shortage of that. Execution is a completely different thing. So now it's about convincing the customers. The customers that aren't this not some of these guys aren't most of them aren't creatives. They they don't uh they don't create. They're more looking at it from okay, this is my outlet. This is uh where I go to kind of pick something up as a customer, get lost in this world, get lost in this material, and now we gotta convince those guys. Because they make the world go round. They make the make the industry go round. We have to convince them to buy in to the product. But you have more tools now than you've ever had. It's a reason to be optimistic because of that. And I'm trying to convince the, I guess, I want those folks, the customers, to be optimistic about it. This is less about Riververse, folks. This is more about um, people that are on the outside seeing the, <laughs> the downward trajectory. Uh, trend, if you will, of their favorite media companies, their favorite properties. We got a lot of a lot of work to do on the creative and the business side to convince those people. But I do think that's a goal worth pers- like like trying to accomplish, right? Uh, definitely, if you guys came from my line, where I came from, and with with Marvel and DC, and if I feel like if, hell, if I can get over that, I feel like anybody can get over anything. But you can't really speak that type of stuff into existence. You have to uh, lead. You have to show and prove. I'm fucking stoked, man. I look at what we got going with the Ribberverse and all the stuff that I haven't announced, the stuff that we're working on. I am, I am stoked. I'm legitimately stoked. And I feel like you should be too. You should be too. There's a reason to be optimistic. Go get stoked. Well, go convince these people to be stoked about product. And that's going to come with, uh, again, you got to lead with action there. It, it, you can't really speak that stuff. Exactly. You say, oh, we're going to do this. We're going to. That's awesome. It is. I, I get it. But also you have to actually execute, put out a product uh, as well. So we got work to do. This isn't something that you can just speak into existence. If you like this video and want to get into a new comic book universe, visit Ripperverse.com. Our first campaign for I Sum 1 hit $3.7 million, and the pre-order campaign for I Sum 2 is currently live. So go check it out and watch the official launch trailer, which is the first animation of Ripperverse Studios.